Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a half-ass empties video. I was noticing a lot of you guys kept requesting that I would do empties like every two months. A lot of you were asking me to do it every month, but I guess I just don't go through products that often. I don't have enough to do it every month, but I guess I could accumulate things every two months and then I'll do empties videos more often. And also, let me know if you want me to add other things in my empties videos too, like not just beauty. Like today I have a candle that for some reason I really wanna talk about, but let me know if you wanna see other things like candles or maybe like specific foods I really liked that I finished, I don't know. Just let me know in the comments if you want it to be like beauty and other things as well. Um, excuse my hair by the way, it's so funny. I didn't try at all. I just picked up my hair in like a tiny little man bun back here. And I was like, oh, that's good. And every time I do my hair like this, I think of my mom. Because whenever I wear like a ponytail in a video or a top knot, like a bun, whenever I pick up my hair in some way, my mom is always like, you never brush your bumpies. I just like to leave my hair pretty wild like this. I really, I don't even bother with my hair. Like this little bald spot right here, like this would drive my mother crazy. You know who my mom is? She is Judith Geller. <laughs> Only in a much, much nicer way. But my mom will be like, oh, why aren't you wearing earrings? <laughs> Maybe it's a Cuban thing or like a Hispanic mom thing to always make you feel like you should arreglate a little bit more. But anyway, I don't know what that has to do with this video, but I don't know, I just wanted to tell you that story. Okay, so let's talk about the products I've used up. I actually have a few perfumes to talk about today because I went through a couple. I went through a couple. So I love buying these small perfumes, like the smaller versions, the 1.7 ounces versus the big bottles because I feel like since I am such a perfume hoarder, I have a ton of perfumes. Most of them are in the big bottles, like my signature scents. I get them in the big bottles, but perfume does go bad. It does last a long time. Like I have perfumes here that I've had for years and they still smell good. But for example, Pink Sugar from Aqualina it expires so fast. If I don't use that bottle up within a year, it starts to smell a little weird and it turns like a weird yellow color. I love buying smaller bottles. They're better to travel with and I'm able to go through a perfume a little bit quicker and I don't feel like I'm wasting my money. But I just, I love buying smaller bottles. Anyway, longest intro ever. This is the Jessica Simpson Signature Perfume. I believe it's called Signature and I really love how this smells. I will leave all the notes of all these perfumes here on the screen because I know describing a scent is pretty pointless, but this one is delicious. It smells very sweet without being too sweet. It almost has like a fresh kick to it. It's like fresh and sweet, which is kind of like my favorite combo. I love it because you smell clean, but you smell delicious too. I don't know if this is discontinued or if it's not being sold anymore, I'm not sure. But even if it is, I am personally not repurchasing this because it just doesn't last on the skin. I find this to be the case with a lot of celebrity perfumes. They just don't last. And this, except my Miami Glow by JLo, that one lasts forever. And this one, even though it smells freaking amazing, it just doesn't last on my skin, so. I don't think I would repurchase this. I still have a few sprays there though. Mm -mm -mm. So Versace has these really cute little purse sprays for their bright crystal perfume. And I love these. I wish every brand came out with a little, a little purse spray because they're so convenient, they're tiny, and they do last a pretty good time. At least this perfume does. I love this perfume. It lasts forever on my skin. And every time I wear it, I get a ton of compliments, which to me is like the best thing ever when someone tells you you smell good. And this is such a good perfume. I love it. I would totally repurchase and I already did. I have like two of these. Another perfume I'm completely obsessed with and it was living in my purse as well. Both of these, they were roommates. This is the Jo Malone Nectarine Blossom and Honey. This is so amazing. I kind of don't know which one I love more. I don't know if I love Blackberry and Bay more or if I love this one. But there are the only two scents from Jo Malone that I truly love. And this one lasts a really long time on my body like a really long time, I think even more than Blackberry and Bay. And it smells so clean and fresh and you smell so fancy and clean. I don't know, I love it. Such a good one. I love these little bottles too. <laughs> That's expensive, but I think it is worth it because of the lasting power. And then last but not least, I went through one of these guys. This is the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. And I buy these little refill things. They're like little purse sprays as well. You get these at Sephora and then you just buy the refills. And this is the perfume I always take with me when I go to LA. It like reminds me of LA. And I love how it's very sturdy, like the glass is inside and it's not gonna break. You can throw this and you'll be good. And out of the five billion perfumes that I own, 
This one is one of the most long wearing. I will smell this the next day on my skin. It is so potent. Chanel perfumes are pricey, but I personally think it's worth it because it just lasts so long. Okay, so now that we are done talking about perfumes, I was on that topic for like a good five hours. We can move on now. I finished this hair mask. This is from the brand Marula. I really like this brand. And this is their deep moisture hair mask. It's paraben free, phthalate, phthalate free. Strengthens, restores, and repairs all hair types. It's an intense conditioning treatment and I really, really liked it. I do have other deep hair masks that I like a little bit more, like my hands down, my favorite hair mask is from Living Proof and I really like the Briogeo one. This one was great, but I do like those a little bit more, so I don't see myself repurchasing this, but it was very conditioning, very hydrating. It left my hair with a nice silky feel. So yeah, I like it, I like it, but I do have others I like more, for sure. How many of these do I go through in a week? These are the Cojan Doe Cleansing Spa Water Wipes. I'm not gonna talk about these too long because I talk about them in every empties video. These are my favorite wipes from Sephora. Like, they're my favorite high-end wipes. I don't think anything compares to them because they don't feel greasy, but they're very saturated. Like, they're wet, very wet, which I love. It takes off all my makeup with one little wipe. Ugh, it's amazing, and it's great for sensitive skin. It doesn't strip the skin. It's just perfect. It's perfect. But if you're looking for really good ones at the drugstore, the I'm surprised I don't have any in here. The Simple Micellar Cleansing Wipes are my favorite. They are gold. I love them. Another Bioderma. I go through Bioderma like I drink it. It's like I drink this. This is my favorite micellar water. I have tried brand after brand, drugstore, high-end. To me, nothing compares to Bioderma. It's the only one that doesn't sting my eyes. I can like get up in there with a cotton round and no stinging. Plus, it removes my makeup so perfectly. I just love this. To me, nothing compares. I'm almost out of another one. It's just, it's so good. It lives on my desk. I went through a foundation primer. How shocking is this? I just used up this like two nights ago and I was like, ah! Oh! I could put this in my empties bag. This is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer in Radiance. I've had the, what? I guess I had a little bit more. That's a lot more, you know how expensive this is? I could have sworn I squeezed every bit out. Okay, so there was a few more drops in this, but honestly, not enough to where I would keep it around. I've had this for years already, super expired. <laughs> it says 12 months, mm, I had this for like 48 months. This is one of my favorite Radiance primers on the market. It makes your skin so glowy, but at the same time, it actually hydrates. Some radiance primers will give you the radiance, like it'll give you the dew, but it won't give you the moisture. It won't give you the hydration. And it's like, why do I want that? I don't wanna just look dewy. I wanna feel hydrated. So that's why I love this primer. I have loved it for years. I stopped using it on my channel for a while there, for a long time, because I'm always trying new stuff. You know, I get into the habit of using other primers and you know, you know how this makeup world is on YouTube. But I was still using this all the time off camera and I would always take this with me to travel. I just came back from LA and I used it. I used my new one though. I have a brand new tube that I just got. So of course I would repurchase because I did. Let's talk about this candle, okay? Because I purchased this on the Nordstrom website and it had amazing reviews, amazing. This is the macaroon. I know that's not how you say that word. It's like macaron, macaron, macaron. I don't know, I, I butcher that. But this is like the macaroon candle. And I really wanted to get this because, okay, I use a lot of Bath & Body Works candles and I don't think I will ever stop. But I was trying to get into a more natural candle, like something made out of soy, but that it was still gonna give a nice throw to the room. And this one is made out of coconut wax, which is awesome. It is a hand poured luxury candle. And this does smell really good, but it doesn't smell good enough. Like it, I don't really smell it when I walk into a room and my beauty room is not that big. And I would walk in and I wouldn't really smell it. And this wasn't cheap. I mean, don't get me wrong, I paid more for candles. This was $16, but I wait for the Bath & Body Works candles to go on sale, which is still pricey because it's like $12 each. This <laughs> is only a few dollars more. So I'm being dramatic, but it doesn't have a throw. I don't really smell it that much. So it's to me, it's too pricey for what you get. And I, I'm i sad because it has great reviews, but I don't think it's that good. Okay, so I went through a Formula X Delete All Five Finger Nail Polish Remover. I love this thing. It comes in this tub and then it has five holes and you put your fingers in there and that's how you take off all your nail polish. I don't love the formula. It is pretty drying. When I'm done taking off my nail polish, the skin around my nails looks kind of crusty. So I don't love that, but I only use this when I'm in a hurry. It's just so fast and easy. 
I mean, I already purchased another one, so of course I would repurchase. I think it's amazing. It is a little drying, but especially when you have like glitter or like something, or red, that red takes forever to remove. I do, I love this. It just, it does, it deletes all instantly. All I do is add cuticle oil, add a little lotion. I'm good. This is the Body Shop Almond Milk and Honey Calming and Caring Shower Cream. It's for dry, sensitive skin. When I saw that, I was like, oh, I want that. I love anything that has almond in it. I love honey. I was all over this. And calming shower cream, mm, I love anything calming. Seriously, I was so excited to get this, but I, I didn't like this. I mean, I know I used the whole thing because I paid for it, so I wanted to use it, but I love my L'Occitane almond shower oil way more. I know it's way pricier, but my skin feels so soft when I use it, like so soft, my, and I smell good. It's just so amazing. And this one fell short for me. I didn't feel like it was really cleaning my body and I have dry skin. I need something that's really nourishing and this one just, it was a little eh for me. I don't think it's bad. I really liked the scent, but it just, it's all right. Something I already repurchased. This is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. It's for all skin types. I have been using this face wash for years now and it's amazing. I go back and forth between this and other face washes, but this is like my tried and true. It's so gentle on the skin. I love using this in the morning because it smells like cucumbers and it just wakes me up. I really love the scent. I love how it feels. It's perfect for sensitive skin. It's fragrance free. And I've just been using this forever and I love getting the little bottles. I know they have a big one, but I feel like, same thing with perfumes. I feel like getting the big bottle, like it gets kind of goopy towards the end and I'd rather just buy like these smaller versions. Okay, so I have two mascaras to talk about. One I finished like three months ago, but I haven't thrown it in my empties bag. And then this one I just threw it in my empties bag today because I used it on my lashes today and I was like, you know what, you are done. You know when you're getting to the bottom of a mascara and it's like dried out and it's not performing the same? Yeah, that happened today. This is the Trish McAvoy High Volume Mascara in Jet Black. It is my favorite tubing mascara, hands down. It's the only tubing mascara that actually gives me insane volumized lashes. It's the best and I love that it's a tubing mascara because it's so easy to remove. Whenever I'm like, you know what, I need to wear mascara but I wanna be able to take it off really easily. Like if I'm filming a video but I wanna take my makeup off like immediately after, like today actually. I came back from LA and I haven't seen Emilia since I was in LA so she came over and I'm filming this video but as soon as I'm done, I'm gonna take off all my makeup and I'm gonna go hang out with Emilia. So I wanted to put on mascara that I could just remove and this is so easy to take off with just a little bit of warm water It just tubes right off, but two major downsides to this mascara. It is very pricey. It's Trish McAvoy So it's a high-end mascara and it doesn't last long at all. I go through these so fast They get clumpy and dry pretty quickly, which is a major bummer because it's so pricey for me It's definitely a hundred percent worth it just because it's so like hassle-free. So major cons, but major pluses with this guy. I love it. I went through another Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser. This is what I use to clean all of my Beauty Blenders, all of my makeup sponges, and all of my makeup brushes as well. Nothing cleans my brushes like this. It gets out all the foundation. It leaves them spotless. I might have to do it two times, but it does leave them spotless. I love it. I don't see myself ever using anything else to clean my brushes. like till the end of time. I went through another makeup brush cleaner by Cinema Secrets. This stuff is so good. If you're in a rush or you really hate to wash your makeup brushes, so you kind of want to give it like a quick wash in between washes, you grab your dirty brush, you spray, there's nothing in here, but you spray it on your brush, rub it into a towel, and it makes your brush instantly clean and instantly dry as well. So you clean the brush and right on the spot you can use it. This stuff is so good, I highly recommend it. And it leaves your brushes smelling like vanilla. It's kind of a strong chemically vanilla, but after a few minutes it does fade and then it leaves your brushes with like a delicious scent. Highly recommend these. I always get these little bottles because they're just easy to spray versus that giant tub. Something I didn't, I didn't love so much. I mean, I still have a bunch of this in here, but I'm just getting rid of it because I did not like this. This is from the brand Ren Clean Skincare, and I like this brand a lot. They have amazing products, amazing products, but this is the Rosa Centifolia. Gentle exfoliating cleanser and this was okay. It was just way too gentle. I don't see myself repurchasing this I mean, besides the fact that I didn't even finish it because I honestly saw no results. I mean, I like gentle exfoliators. I have sensitive skin so I would like something gentle but 
I think this was just like too gentle. My face looked exactly the same after I used this. And I thought maybe if I used it more, like maybe you see results over time, but I used this for like an entire month and I didn't see a difference. I have other exfoliators that I like way more than that. And then last but not least, I went through another benefit, precisely my brow pencil. I love these brow pencils. That's why I love these and I love Anastasia as well. Well, I love these. Oh, oh, I didn't, I don't know, I don't know what that was. But I love these and I love the Anastasia ones as well. I also really like the Dior one. That one's a little pricier, but this one and the Anastasia one have got to be like my ride or dies. They're so, so good. Oh, there's one more thing in here. I went through an Esquito Companion Lash Glue. It looks like I have a ton of product in there, but it is so thick and goopy, like I can't even use it anymore. Ugh, it's like disgusting. And I did like this lash glue. I like that you can brush it on, but I do like the House of Lashes one more. I just, even though it's beautiful, it is beautiful. I do like it, it's good. I would, I definitely recommend it, but I do think the House of Lashes one is better. But yeah guys, that completes this video. These were all the products I went through in like the past two months. I thought this video was gonna be quick, but mama talks too much. But yeah, that completes this video guys. Let me know what you recently have gone through. Like have you hit pan on anything? Have you recently gone through a makeup item you loved? Because I feel like I don't really go through things that often because I'm constantly trying new things. But I'm curious to know what you have gone through. Like definitely leave it down below. What beauty item have you recently hit pan on or gone through? For some reason, I'm curious to know. So yeah guys, that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.